Hey, good day everyone. Here's a friend of ours. Hello. Uh, I just wanted to make a brief point because there's something really excellent I have in my hand. Um, this is uh, some purple train wreck from Harborside Health Center. Uh, I think they could call it Dutch jalapeno or Dutch peppers with how it tastes and the smell. You can almost really smell the capsaicin almost to it. It smells like uh, the hot part of a pepper. And I say that to say this video I wanted to speak in favor of um, strain integrity and um, and sort of stewardship of, of uh, varietals and crop diversity. Um, in 1999, I was lucky enough uh, to smoke a cannabis herb that smelled just like bubblegum, like, uh, like a double bubble. The, one of those pink gums with the little powdered sugar on it in a, in a wax wrapper smelled just like that. And the smoke also smelled like of that and flavored in a way. And uh, this, uh, I'm having this kind of pepper-like experience. I'm literally sweating. So this, I, I believe if you were to test this herb, you'd find capsaicin in it. Now and maybe and possibly transformed in some way by through the the um, through the what the cannabis plant is and does and and uh, uh, as a as a photosynthetic plant and a phytosynthetic plant. So uh, I say that to say. Um, strains um you know um not only is it a good idea you know i think to really get clear on well what is what do we mean when we say kush what do we mean when we say og what do, what is uh what is dutch treat like i know what my definition is but what is it like what is a uh, sour diesel like what is chem dog like uh why? Because it, what it creates is a, is a, not a rigid, rigidity, but a substantialness uh, and something that uh, you can now work other stuff relative to. Uh, it would also work in a business model. So uh, business entrepreneurs, you, the, the reason you personally might not just want to call it whatever you, a movie is and no matter what you grow or how you get it, you call it Pineapple Express. Uh, the reason is not just because people are actually doing um, agriculturally uh, cultivating stuff that is really targeted and specific and subtle and achievements really but beyond that because uh, well I can see if if you sell a developed strain something with a developed uh, identity I guess is one word they use for it you know if it's a uh, headband or uh, Dutch treat or uh, one of the sours or something with that smells like lemon then uh, uh, gosh if I were growing and I was growing around doing stuff agriculturally with my how I plot the land to uh, kind of to fold in other other kind of uh, other flavors or smells into into the crop that I was growing then you could have those at lower prices. You can have your, you know, uh, um, a proposed business model to people out there. Um, you could have, you know, be selling the heirloom strains, what they call heirloom strains, um, as your top shelf. 
and what you personally are growing um you know all this all these weird ones i smell one that smelled just like ketchup that i figured they were growing near tomatoes or maybe even rich tomatoes you know tomatoes that they use for sun dry or something like that um because it had a not a not it had a ketchup smell like tomato paste kind of smell you know what i mean like um but then you know those different kind of varietals uh uh are sort of you know anyway as not being the, uh not having the identity the the uh with the marketplace uh could be offered at like a lower price like i got this i got this for 35 and the top shelf of stuff is you know 50 or 60 a lot of places and uh, but this one seems like it was grown by really hot peppers <laughs> judging by the sweat on my brow uh god bless y'all huh uh what's today december geez december 7th uh 2016 so uh certainly uh i have I, I we all have probably heard about pearl harbor one of the constructive things i was thinking about today given the date is um i was thinking about chinatowns uh oakland where i am now has a a, a beautiful like uh really and health a really strong and healthy uh i guess the word they use is vibrant uh asian community and one of the things i was saying i saw a lady bandito uh i saw a lady um uh, going walking with a stick an older lady and she's going through the uh through a garbage can you know I I figure for not just salvage but maybe bottles, you know, CRV. So I say to her, "Geez, I got to I got to start writing. I'm going to start writing. I'm going to write to Recology and some other people to see if they need foot soldiers to be I know that they analyze everything they pick up to sort it. Not that people should uh not worry about it just that uh i know this this place though re i recology doesn't really do garbage in oakland oakland i think has a local company that that they recently did a contract with but a lot of the places around here sort every piece of garbage that they pick up that's part of how they uh how they structure their business for for the clientele here uh I say that to say, uh, you know, you see older people doing Tai Chi, and depending on where you're from, some of that could look pretty shocking or su could surprise you that, you know, people are willing to let a bunch of Asian people, like, like congregate and, like, do exercising together. You know, it could be a little, like, what the fuck kind of. You know, it could, that's where, you, you know, I'm sure Donald Trump, put, I haven't seen him put that in their commercials, but it seems like something that that could uh, could be used for propaganda like that. Um, anyway, I say that to say uh, that to me might really serve as an inspiration to people uh, to think about, well, geez, Louise, uh, how do we. How do we stay at the ready? How do we best uh, represent and put uh, our elders, pe the people we care about at ease as they get older and their bodies are change and become less uh, less able to, to, to withstand even the possibility of, of, uh, of a physical threat um, or let, and need it less and less, you know? Uh, and uh and not just that but also certainly concern about uh how we how we um how we how wasteful we are where we're wasteful 
uh, where it's necessary, where it can be cut out of our lives personally to a person. You know, seeing an older person going through the garbage. What, the, what does that say about how, how many opportunities people have in life? What does that say about how we treat our elders? What does that say about the income and resources available in communities like Oakland, California? What does that say about uh, how we live together? Uh, what are those specters and worries of misunderstanding each other or fear being, uh, being mongered and, and spread and keeping us divided? Um, and fighting and the fight against that um what are those um what uh what opportunities are really within those um anyway all of those uh all of those concerns are really real and certainly present for me as a 36 year old man uh and a person who who wants to be a part of uh you know the my young people's life and our and with everything that we have done not just to ourselves and to our bodies and to our kids it's actually it's not just uh because it's it's safer for our young today uh thank god uh um and you know by virtue of, of our of our health uh, in our dealings with each other, um, but our youth, you know, our very youth, um, how have we um, how have we injured it, you know, uh, with uh, you know even. To speed, you know, uh, Mr. Speed in the wrong direction, you know, uh, rushing to do bad, I guess, is is something that the that the psalmist advised against, you know, that uh, don't be in a rush to do bad, you know, is in, is in the psalms. Well, I wish you all well and uh, and a better lives for all of us, you know, to where uh, to where it's uh, it's more along the lines of the joke I, I say, I guess, to to calm my stomach of, oh, well, she's, you know, uh, Abuelita, you know, is uh is in, is investigating is doing investigations of, of waste management you know but bendito people really are in need in a lot of places and uh, and god bless us we're thrifty and resourceful and uh and humble people and we look for everywhere we can help ourselves. uh to, and be in a better position to help someone else, you know? That's what I see in our elders, who I see uh, often out there, uh, you know, digging in garbage cans, you know, for cans. But I think maybe, maybe there's a way, considering I'm just, I'm just figuring there's so many constructive, fun ways, fun projects. How could we get our elders money the people that like to look for cans as in, which is a bigger question of waste and what we're using and the materials we use why isn't all this stuff compostable why are there landfills that doesn't have to be how do we uh reverse that uh reverse that trend and and uh while we uh while we all uh make a standard of a better solution and better materials and better processes and uh and asking and not asking some some poor foreigner to make garbage to put garbage into our lives like that's gonna uh, really uh, go anywhere with us you know so uh um 
you know, all of these things um, get into the love in ourselves, you know, dig, you know, chipping away, I guess, at whatever it is around the part that's uh, that's li- that's keeping us from being uh, creative enough. Uh, but I myself, as a 36 year old man, am now currently looking to enlist in the armed forces. Uh, and eager to see how this defense policy bill, uh, what's included, and if it might include some better, uh, some changes in the requirements that'll make it easier for me to enlist in the armed forces. Uh, Right now, uh, from what I've seen in my internet, I'm only eligible for the Air Force. I've been in conversations with them and the Navy Reserve. Uh, I told them I make music as U.S. <laughs> I told them, you know, I have a couple of records on iTunes and about parts of how.com. I mentioned to one of the recruiters at a office I recently visited. But recently I was thinking, geez, how are we all going to have a fair training? Um, and really, uh, how am I going to make myself a, a capable uh, father and partner and better prospective mate, you know, and, and uh, to create a home with, with, uh, with my lady, you know, um, without uh, I, I started dropping my hands at fights about six or seven years old, you know. I remember I brought a knife into kindergarten or pre-K in my school bag and I got in big trouble. And after that, I stopped like I would wrestle like uh, in the playground up till about second or third grade. But fights I got in all through my 20s, I was I never would pick my hands up. I just stopped them. Um, So. But here I am, knowing, seeing my folks getting older, um, knowing I, I there's young people that I want to be in their life and be prepared for 